All right, guys. So in this particular session, we'll discuss question number nine from your 2024 paper. So let's read the question and let's see how to go about it. Let alpha and beta are positive constants. Find this particular limit when x is tending to zero from the right side. Zero positive likha hai. Zero pe to ye function basically defined in hai because x is in the denominator. So we are only looking at the right side, right part of it. Okay. So fine. Let's see. So I have to figure out limit as x tends to 0 positive. Matlab 0 ko a positive side se approach karo. 0 ke kareeb cheeze hai. 0 0.1, 0 0.001, something like that. So 1 minus 1 plus x raised to the power alpha minus beta divided by x. Okay. And alpha beta are positive. Ye greater than 0. Okay. So if we directly this function mein, uh, 0 put karne ki koshish kare, to ye, yahan pe ye 0 jayega, hai? and then 1 raised to the power anything is 1. So upar 1 minus 1 form aa jayegi, niche ho jayega 0. So 0 by 0 form ban rahi hai, right? So this is a 0 by 0 form. Hai? So agar 0 by 0 form ban rahi hai, to aap Lopetal's rule laga sakte ho. Lopetal's rule can be applied. It can be applied. So we will apply that. Now, L'Hopital's rule apply karne ke liye, jo numerator hai, usko humei differentiate karna padega. And denominator ko alag se differentiate karna padega. And then we'll put the limit. Thik hai? So let's see. So if you differentiate, differentiating numerator, we get, agar aap numerator ko differentiate karoge, to aapko kya milega? 1 ka derivative 0 and then yahan pe minus power minus beta bahar aa jayegi to minus hai bahar minus beta waise bahar aa jayegi yahan pe 1 plus x raised to the power alpha aur yahan pe minus beta minus 1 aur fir jo andar expression hai uska derivative andar jo expression hai 1 1 ka derivative 0 x raised to the power alpha ka derivative alpha x raised to the power alpha minus 1 ye ho gaya numerator ka derivative aur denominator ka derivative aapko pata hai which is x ka derivative 1 theek hai to hame actually kya karna padega limit kis cheez ki nikalni padegi divided by 1 is cheez ki aap limit nikal do as x is tending to 0 positive that should give you the same result to isko agar aap thoda sa simplify kar lete ho to ye kiske barabar ho jayega minus minus plus beta alpha ho gaya aur idhar ho jayega x raised to the power alpha minus 1 and then 1 plus x raised to the power alpha. And then either ho jayega minus beta minus 1. Theek hai? So again, ab jab aap yahan pe fir se expression put karoge, to kya hoga? Ye beta positive hai, to ye minus beta minus 1. It will be something negative only. To isko aap is tarikhe se dekh sakte ho, ke it is like alpha beta x raised to the power alpha minus 1. And then this is 1 plus x raised to the power alpha uh, minus beta minus 1. If you put anything close to 0 in here, so ye wala jo part hai, ye wala jo part hai. Ye wala part to 1 ko tend karega. Hai? This part will tend to 1. This is something that we know. Now what about this part? Alpha, beta dono positive hai. Agar, ab mujhe ye dekhna padega ki, what is happening here? I only know that alpha is greater than 0. There is nothing else that I know. Alpha greater than 0 hai, wo mujhe pata hai. Uh, lekin mujhe ye nahi pata ki 1 se bada hai ya 1 se chota hai. So, depending on that, I think because, you know, let's say alpha is greater than 1. So, this term will be positive and then x will be in the numerator only. And I think alpha ki value is very small. 
so let's say one uh, let's say alpha is 1 by 2 so in that case this power will be minus 1 by 2 so now this part becomes uh, this part comes in denominator right so we will have to specify this difference So we'll have to specify this difference and act accordingly. Okay. So let's say so, so the solution that we will have will totally be dependent on the value of alpha. So if alpha ye wala part to pura clear ho gaya hai, is wale part pe, there will be things which are different. So let's say if alpha is greater than 1, alpha is equal to 1, and alpha is less than 1, right? Yeah. So if alpha is greater than 1, this entire expression is positive. E power positive. Hai. So if you put 0 positive value, this entire term will tend to 0. Limit x tends to 0 positive will be equal to 0. If it is equal to 1, agar ye equal to 1 hai, to kya hoga? Uh, power 0 is 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So this entire term will tend to alpha beta. And alpha is 1. So this will just be beta only. And if alpha is less than 1, so then this alpha minus 1 power will come out to be negative. And then it will be like 1 upon something. And when x is very, very close to 0, this entire term will tend to infinity. Right? So this term will tend to infinity. So limit as x tends to 0 positive. Limit as x tends to 0 positive will be infinity in three different cases. Alright? So this is how we have to mention this. Right. So, we have three different cases depending on the value of alpha. Here we have alpha ki value directly, we have 1 likhi hoye, so we can directly sir beta bhi likh sakte ho. Theek hai? All right. So, this is question number 9, part number A. Move on, moving on to part number B. Let's see what is written here. So in part number B, it is written that it is estimated that T years from now, the population of a certain town will be F of T, 40 minus 8 upon T plus 2 million. Okay. So, what is this? After T years, the population of the town will be this. Use differentials to estimate the amount by which the population will increase during the next six months. मतलब आप किसी भी time period T पे हो, तो उसके अगले छः महीने के बाद जो population है, वो किस amount से change होगी? Uh, by which amount the population will increase? You have to mention that. ठीक है? So f of t is given to us like this. Forty minus eight divided by t plus two. ठीक है जो हमें चेंज इन टी बताया हुआ है दैट इज 6 मंथ्स ठीक है टी इज इन इयर्स सो 6 मंथ्स विल बी लाइक 0.5 इयर्स ठीक है तो अगर आप सो uh, so अगर इफ वी यूज द एफ प्राइम टी की वैल्यू क्या हो जाएगी यहां पे minus 8 t plus 2 power minus 1 minus 1 will come in front and then t plus 2 whole squared. This is the term that we will have, right? So, according to differentials, kya hoga? So, change in f hai, wo approximately kis ke barabar hoga? f prime t change in t ke barabar hoga. This is the rule of differentials that we have here. So, now, here we have change in function. How much is 
एट अपॉन टी प्लस टू होल स्क्वेर एंड देन चेंज इन टाइम पीरियड दिया हुआ है जीरो पॉइंट फाइव तो दिस इज द नंबर दैट यू गेट तो जो भी इंक्रीज इन एफ होगा इन द नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स दैट विल बी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टी प्लस टू होल स्क्वेर ठीक है अब डायरेक्टली एज सच इन्होंने टी की वैल्यू मेंशन नहीं करी हुई है लेकिन अगर आप ये मान लो कि स्टार्टिंग टाइम पीरियड टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो है सो इफ यू से दैट इफ टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो अगर आप स्टार्टिंग टाइम पीरियड की बात कर रहे हो तो इन दैट केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी कि हाउ मच विल देर बी चेंज इन एफ सो देन दैट विल बी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टी इज जीरो जीरो प्लस टू इज टू सो दैट विल अप्रोक्सीमेटली बी इक्वल टू वन ठीक है इट इट विल अप्रोक्सीमेटली बी इंक्रीजिंग बाय वन मिलियन ओके सो इफ दैट इज गिवन एज टाइम So basically, the function is going to change by one unit. Okay, so that means population will increase by uh, approximately one uh, million in the next six months if time period starting from zero. Okay, all right. So that was part number B. Now moving on 